Good morning, everyone. It is Christmas Eve. Atticus is looking very Christmassy this morning. What, yeah, you have. You're adding a lot of colour to my apartment with these uh, blankets and pyjamas. Where was Georgie this morning? Nowhere. Nowhere, just in the bed. Yep. And he's... Snuck into the, um, the present bag. He did. He snuck into the bag yesterday, didn't he? Coming up to Manchester. Today we're going to the town hall in the island. Children, you've done stockings. We are. That is our Christmas Eve plans. We're going to go to the Ivy for dinner tonight. First time ever going out on Christmas Eve, like for dinner, which is going to be nice. And then Mum and Atticus are going to go into town. They're going to have a little wander around. And then yeah, we're going to play some games. Got some stockings. I want to watch Grinch. Yeah. And we're going back to in pyjamas. It doesn't feel like Christmas. I can't believe Well, it does feel like Christmas now. But I can't believe it's come around so quick. I can't believe tomorrow we get all our presents. I know you're excited, aren't you? I think we've all been spoiled this year. First of all, can we just talk about how mum has actually turned my office into a dressing room? I said to her, like, oh, are you sure? Like, you can put your stuff in the office if you want, like, if there's going to be a big spread of stuff. So, yeah, maybe. Like, I could just put it in the bedroom, but we'll put it in the office. Thank God she did. This is now mum and Atticus's room. Might as well get them a bed to put in here. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. So, I've had a very, very, very slow start to my Christmas Eve this morning. Basically, not to go into too much detail, but ever since I got back from Oz, I just had haven't been well like you probably haven't been able to tell from my videos i think i can hide it quite well but i've just been so poorly and i don't really know to be honest exactly what it is i've got some antibiotics that i actually picked up from the pharmacy this morning so fingers crossed they make me feel a lot better i took one though and it made me feel so sick that i just sat on the sofa for like an hour like genuinely feeling like i'm gonna throw up however have now eaten so i feel a lot better so i think i just need to eat something to kind of like kill the sickness but anyway fingers crossed those antibiotics are gonna sort me out and i'm gonna go in to the new year completely happy and healthy honestly being all these last few weeks and obviously coming out in that rash as well has really made me appreciate myself at full health and that is like the biggest thing that i can be grateful for so anyway that's just a little update fingers crossed i start to feel better soon mum and atticus have popped out into town they've gone to look at the town hall because it's been renovated and atticus loves looking at the renovations and then they've also popped out for some breakfast even though it's not really breakfast now it's kind of like lunch um and they've just gone for a little shop around so i have stayed in because i'm not gonna lie didn't feel well at all so i need to tidy up my apartment because it's a bit messy and I also want to show you guys the stuff that I ordered from Ego. I then do need to get ready but to be honest not yet because we're not going out for dinner tonight until 6.45 so I don't really need to be ready until 6.30 but oh my god how cute. I opened a parcel this morning from Kiehl's and they sent me some cute little Christmas decorations. I'm going to put these on my tree in a minute. I've got a Statue of Liberty and a New York taxi but I thought these were so beautiful so thank you so much Kiehl's for these. Now I actually did an order on Ego. This was about three four days ago. Um, um, and it's arrived and I want to show you guys what I got. Okay, so I am obsessed with this cute little cold set that I got because at the moment I feel like silver and metallic is very, very in. However, it's kind of annoying for me because I wear gold jewellery and gold jewellery and silver metallic kind of clashes. It doesn't really go. It's a bit annoying because I find it hard to wear silver. However, I saw this set and I thought this was so cute. So this is the skirt and then this is the crop top. I might have to shorten the skirt a little bit, but I thought this top was super cute and then here is the skirt but yeah i think i mean it does look quite short but i like skirts to be really short so i got that then i got these however i have since bought some uggs from vista village but i ordered these from ego and they are the platform ultra mini ugg dupes i'm gonna leave links to shop all these on screen and to the side you'll be able to see it it's like the new youtube shopping thing they're doing so you can literally just click the link and shop it straight away but these are so cute and i'm still gonna wear these because i got like higher ones and mine aren't platform Platformed, whereas as you can see these are platformed and these are ultra mini so i picked these up and obviously they're a fraction of the price of like actual uggs so yeah got these and i cannot wait to wear them and mine are in like the chestnut color and then this is something i've wanted for so long and i was seeing it all over tiktok when i was in australia and i really wanted it and then it went out of stock and then it come back in and it is the whoa it is the texas bag that ego do but it is the silver diamante one and honestly the amount of times i've seen this on my view page is ridiculous and i was so jealous of everyone who had it and then i just checked ego and they happen to have it back in stock i need to like shorten it a bit because this is very long but i am obsessed with it it is gorgeous and again really not that expensive so i will leave it linked to the side if you guys do want to shop it but oh my god i am in love so yeah i picked those bits up from ego i also picked up a few bits from citizen seeker 
sneakers I got I'll show you quickly I got this jumper which I really like because I don't really wear like knitted jumpers but I thought this was really fun it's just like a black and white checkerboard jumper so I got that and then to wear with it I got this good morning sports hat because they did actually do a matching beanie however it was at stock so I thought I'd get that instead so yeah those are everything I got like I said I will leave them linked to the side but I am now what am I gonna do I need to tidy up I feel a bit of a loss this is how you feel on the days between like Christmas and New Year when you have like nothing to do with yourself right now I have nothing to do with myself could watch Emily in Paris because the new season out so I might do that once I've tidied other than that I'm just waiting for Mum and Atticus to get home I thought I would film a mini get ready with me for dinner tonight not a very like in-depth one literally just talking you through the products that I have been using recently very quickly but I was thinking to myself like what kind of content can I do in 2023 there's a little bit different to what I've been doing and also just like something else other than YouTube first of all I have already primed my skin using the Too Faced hangover primer and now I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation this is a little too dark for me because I'm slightly losing my tan now so when I have my concealer on oh gosh um, it will all match but just bear with me trust the process so I was thinking to myself like oh what can I do in January and next year that will kind of I know there's just something extra other than just YouTube and I love TikTok but I feel like I got on the wrong side of TikTok like I started doing like back in um lockdown like dances and stuff and let's be real like I can't dance like as much as I would love to be able to that's just not like my niche however recently my whole for you page has like completely changed and I am now like on the TikTok shop like this is your plan to buy like get ready with me outfits makeup and everything side of TikTok and I love it and I really want to start to do those TikToks myself yes yeah, so I was thinking to myself okay I can do like little get ready with me's because I have such a nice little like dressing area here I also I feel like I'm really behind on the makeup trends compared to TikTok by the way like I don't know I'm still using the beauty blender and I feel like everyone back to using brushes now I feel like I just need to I don't know watch more videos and actually take the advice myself but anyway I have such a nice little dressing area here like with my shelves and stuff and my wardrobe and I have lots of clothes that I just feel like I never really show myself wearing so I'm gonna start to do like get ready with me and like pick my outfits and like outfit planning for certain occasions so make sure you guys follow my TikTok and you can keep up to date with all the TikToks that I'm gonna do just using my concealer this is the multitasker concealer from Rimmel and this is a lot lighter shade as you can see um, and I'm just gonna pop this to be honest kind of as another layer of foundation because that foundation is actually quite drying for my skin even though I did use a primer and a moisturizer and wet my beauty blender I feel like it doesn't really go on as dewy as I would like it to so I'm going ham on the concealer today also I feel like I've never even tried this right well I've had it when I have my makeup done but me personally I've never tried to do cream bronzer on myself so I may do a TikTok video like trying cream bronzer for the first time because I love watching people when they put like cream bronzer on and concealer at the same time and blend it all and it looks amazing but like I said I feel like I'm just very behind on like the makeup trends also being in Australia I only wore makeup like twice whilst I was out there so I feel like I've just missed like so much on the internet and then I've come back to do my makeup routine and it's pretty standard and um yeah not great I'm not gonna lie to you however as you can see this concealer does definitely even out my base because it was very 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 orange before and then I'll go back in and I'll uh, add some contour now I'm gonna use my morphe face palette in medium vibes 8m I love this I actually bought this for Australia then never ended up using it but I always use these two bronzer shades mixed together and I just loosely dab this on my face just to bring some color back I really like the shade of this bronzer like it's just such a nice in between of an orangey brown shade and I feel like it just gives me like a nice tan glow like look at the difference between that side and that side obviously it's a lot better when I've added blusher and added powder but I really really like it also I've been wearing my hair up so much recently and I'm getting loads of comments and loads of dms like why are you always wearing your hair up because I never used to wear it up I always used to wear it down and basically I really want to try and grow my hair and like say my hair sorry just quickly i'm going in with this blush shade and when i dyed it blonde again because obviously i dyed it brown and then i went back to dyeing it like bleach bleach blonde because i was sad whatever and decided to dye my hair and then it basically ruined my hair it just like made my hair snap and i just really hated it like i loved having the blonde back what it did to my hair was not worth it whatsoever so i'm basically trying to grow it back and having it in a ponytail is the best way to do it because i'm not using heat and i've literally used heat on my hair twice in the last month so yeah this is why i'm always having my hair up because I'm just kind of like not wanting to use heat on it and this just looks 
nicer than having my frizzy hair down. Also, as you can see, I've gone like OTT with the bronzer and the blush. I always do this because it fades quite quickly. So my makeup will look quite dramatic for the first like half an hour. And then after that, it will go down. I'm then just gonna go in and powder. This is the Morphe Translucent Powder. I wanna get this velvet powder puff that everyone's using on TikTok. It looks so good for powder. And like I said, like, I'm still baking. I feel like nobody bakes anymore. Or do they? I don't know. I feel like I'm just so behind on like the makeup trends. Cause I used to be so much into that YouTube and then I just kind of fell out of that. But I wanna get back into it cause I loved it so much. I'm just gonna powder and I'm just gonna leave this on my face for the next like 15, 20 minutes. Brows. Now I actually don't fill my brows in. I just use two products. Well, either or, but these are the two. I either use the Got To Be Squartz Goth how you say it like eyebrow baby hair glue and this is so good it literally does not budge my eyebrow hairs and then i've also got the refi brow gel glue thing which i also absolutely love i'm gonna use this one today i don't film eyebrows in or anything i feel like i want to learn how to but honestly every time i do it it just doesn't suit me whatsoever so i just brush my brow hairs up and then kind of be done with it so yeah if anybody has any good recommendations for brow products like to fill my brows in with let me know i don't know whether i want to use use a powder or a eyebrow pencil but yeah just let me know your recommendations down below i'm now just going to add a base eyeshadow shade all over my lid so i've got the morphe natural territory 9t palette and i'm just going to use this one here i'm not actually going to do any in-depth eyeshadow look i'm literally just going to add this brown shade all over my eyelid and normally i would do lashes and eyeliner if i'm going out for dinner however i'm just feeling the more natural look tonight so i'm not actually going to do lashes i'm not going to do eyeliner I'm just going to go straight into mascara once I've done this. Even though it's kind of a full coverage look, I want to do more of like a full coverage natural look rather than like going in on the eye makeup. The mascara I've been using at the moment is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang waterproof one. I'm not going to lie though, it's not really my favourite mascara. I've been using it because it's been in my makeup bag, but I'm kind of just waiting to use it up until I open another one. But one of my favourite mascaras is actually the Charlotte Tilbury pink one. I'm not sure of the full name of it, but that is amazing. So that's the mascara i'm gonna go to after i just don't think this is as good right now because it's running out and every time mascara is running out it just doesn't really like take to my eyelashes i don't know why i also really want to grow my eyelashes so i might start using eyelash serum again because my eyelashes have got so much shorter compared to what they used to be okay that's the difference between one coat of mascara on my eyes i might also do bottom lash mascara but i never normally do bottom lash mascara when i wear eyelashes but obviously because i'm not wearing eyelashes tonight then i might try okay that is my mascara done i'm gonna link as many of these products as i can on the side by the way so if you do want any of them they will be linked on there now i am going to brush off my powder and i'm gonna pop on some highlighter i also need to do lips as well but i'm gonna do lips like last once i'm dressed because i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna wear and if i'm gonna be taking t-shirts on and off i don't want to have like lipstick on and then it go on the t-shirts for highlighter i I am going to be using the Love Island X Revolution highlighter and I've been loving this. I didn't add for Love Island back in the summer when it was on and I was using this highlighter and I literally fell in love with it and I've used it every single day since. My mum and Atticus are cracking up. I've got no idea what they're laughing at. I really like a highlighter because this one's not too in your face that it looks like a tin can but it just gives you like a nice golden glow because I'm a very much like a gold highlighter person. I hate where it looks like really silver or really pink whereas this one is just really nice and gold so yeah that is pretty much my natural makeup done i'm gonna try and do a another layer of mascara quickly because my eyelashes just don't seem that long today i mean they don't really ever seem that long to be honest but well like i can get them to look longer than they do right now perfect it is done and now i'm going to pick an outfit i'm actually going to film a tiktok picking an outfit so head over to my tiktok to watch me do that ignore the messy bedroom but this is the outfit that i put together however I'm not actually gonna wear the corset to the ivy i just think it's i don't know i'm not too sure about it for the ivy if i was going like out to a bar then yes but i think i'm just gonna wear like a crop top instead just so i'm a little bit more covered but this this is the outfit it is so so cute so if you do want to watch me put this together you can head over to my tiktok we are off to the ivy look how cute atticus looks he's got a shirt on that's got rudolph on it christmasy though it hasn't got rudolph on it it's got what right? 
Rudolph and Blind Dave. Oh, is there no Rudolph? Oh, you're right, they've got black noses. Yeah. We're off to the Ivy. Mum, come show your outfit. I actually can't wait for tonight. I've on since that. Like, I know, so excited. Yeah, Mum has had her outfit on all day. But oh, lovely, glittery. lovely glittery black dress. Let me show you mine in the mirror. I'm not looking Christmassy <laughs> whatsoever. I was going to do a red lip. I'm not really sure what happened to that. Instead, I've got cargos on and a big coat look that looks me, like a dressing gown. I know, you look very Christmassy and I look very grungy. However, this is a very me look. So we're going with it. And now we are off to the Ivy. I'm starving. Genuinely, I haven't eaten since... When do we last eat? Breakfast? Was it breakfast? I think so. I've just been saving myself and I've been looking at the menu. And they have truffle and mushroom tagliatelle. So not you already know what I'm getting. Anna. Yes, I'm getting truffle. Stop judging me with the truffle. What did you get? I don't know. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I know it's a gold hat. Save those for tomorrow. Like that. Yep, it's a fancy hat. Save that. Oh, mum. Looking like a queen, mum. You got it again. Got a ruler. And inside mine, oh guys, I've got a cookie cutter. Love it. These are fancy crackers. And then I've got my joke and my crown. Oh my god, it's actually like a paper, like not paper, like it's like a cardboard crown. She said fancy. Mum and Atticus are just in the toilet, but our main course has arrived. So I went for a mushroom and truffle linguine. Atticus, of course, got the steak. And then Mum got the truffle burger. I have now converted Mum to like and truffle, which makes me so happy. And we got some chips. The table is literally overflowing. Right, let's remove some of this for you because I'm like, mm. oh my god, oh, your steak looks good. The truffled mushroom is so good. Yeah. It is dessert time and we all got ice cream. Atticus has got his usual four scoops. But do you know what the thing is? Earlier, which you'll see in my vlog, you can watch it. Nice little plug, come on, mum. We had a big tub, the biggest tub they turned of software. With how many flakes? Six, six flakes on the edge. The O2. He's gonna look like an ice cream. And he's also drunk. Yeah. Today, while we were out, we yeah. had to hit up almost two pints of milk when we were out. Because. Big boy. <laughs> we just got back and mum is showing us our matching pyjamas. Oh, oh that's so cute. Christmas team. Christmas crew. Christmas crew <laughs> with the, um... That is so cute. Can I have mine please? Yeah. I'm gonna put mine on. Here are mine. Yours. Oh I'm so excited they're well cute. <gasps> Love, thank you. Have you got matching ones with us as well? Yeah. I had to get a medium. Yay. You had the last small. Oh, that's all right. Medium. I would have had medium. And that's fine. Have, no, you wait till you see how big they are. Oh, okay. Christmas crew sleigh. We're waiting for mummy. We're waiting for mummy. Mummy has got hers peak. as well. She has got hers on. These are so cute. They're so comfy. I love just wearing. What do you even call these pyjamas? Because normally I sleep in just like t shirts, like actual pyjamas. Christmas pyjamas? Yeah, no, but I know what I mean. Because normally I just sleep in big t shirts. It's nice to actually sleep in like a matching set. But I am going to give Atticus and Mummy their stocking. I You're normally excited. sleep in like a t-shirt but with different buttons. Yeah. I don't sleep like actual match normally. Should I give you your stockings? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get them. Right, I've just laid out the pieces for the stockings and Mum and Atticus are currently sat here with their eyes shut. This is what they currently look like. I said, please just shut your eyes. Are you ready? <laughs> nice and lovely. Are you ready to open your eyes? Yeah, can we open Okay, give me two seconds. I just need to move so I can film you. Okay, so Atticus, yours is obviously the chocolate fingers. Wow. And the dairy milk, we can make a dairy milk house. Yeah. How cool is that? And then, Mum, yours is this one here with the wagon wheels. Oh, I've got wagon. Oh my god! Got your wagon wheel tin. Wow! I know how to treat you. Thank you. I thought that when I was buying it. <laughs> and then I think Atticus, whatever stocking has got the Maltesers in, is mine, which I think is the middle one. So that one must be yours. One. Yeah, I think that's yours. Oh, these are cute, Anna. Matching stockings. It's the first year we've had stockings. Yeah. Is this mine? Yeah. Got some oh. I'm a celeb oh, coins. Yeah. Walnut whips. Walnut whips. Ooh, got you some buttons. Ooh. We have got enough chocolate to honestly last us yeah, so yeah, long. Yeah. After because yours wouldn't fit in the stocking, that's why I had to put yours out. But we can do that tomorrow. We can make the chocolate house. Yeah. You got lots of walnut whips. There's something else in there, I think. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I like them. Oh, darling. Thought you would. <gasps> oh. Orange and mint. And then do you want to open mine? <laughs> You can empty mine, yeah. I have got loads of Maltesers. Oh, too many. Do you favourite? 
Yeah. Push that house. Isn't this cool? I'm Should well we... excited to do that. Look, ask her. Instead of a ginger house, she's doing a chocolate house. That's she really cool. That is. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> I know. It was the last one left in B&M. I was buzzing. <laughs> I did tell you nobody buy chocolate because I bought so much. Ooh, I and I got myself some Terry's chocolate orange white ones. Just in my one, yeah, but I actually can't remember what I got myself. It won't come out. What did I get? Oh, oh matchmakers. Match yeah, we've got plenty of A Malteser. Yep, told you guys. I know, yeah, it's the winter bar. You literally make a full on Look, dairy you milk. See the winter bar right there. For yeah. The flake on the top. How yeah. Ridiculous. There's a flake on the top. No. And oh then you get the icing God. so you can ice it. I thought it was a really cool, like, alternative to a gingerbread house. Because we always try and make a gingerbread house and it never works. Oh, so maybe this one will work. And it was literally. Really? Yeah, look, and it oh, shows you. See you what you've got in it. Oh, yeah, there's your Winter Wonderland um, bar. Yeah. Just build your own house. So to make the walls, it says how to cut it. So it must be like a big bar. So it's it's going to be quite in depth, but we'll give it a go tomorrow. How many did you count, Atticus? Oh, we're still going. You got exactly 40. 40? Oh, mm -hmm. lucky me. Mother. You're Thank welcome. You wow. Well, that was a little nice end to Christmas Eve. Oh. What? Why are you laughing? Oh, so yeah. much chocolate everywhere. I told you. These are smaller than I remember. Must be what? They're bigger. You're joking. They must be because um, I'm taller. Yeah, I that's it. Like yeah, it's because you're tall, it's because you're big at curse. When you used to see it. Yeah, I do know what you mean though. Why does everything look smaller this year? Oh, I think that looked, no, I thought that looked bigger. Your Christmas tree looks tiny this year, I'll admit. It looks really thin. It does to me too. Yeah, I don't know but why. It never used to. Yeah, I know, but I thought that when I thought it. How was our perception of the Christmas tree giant? So? I don't know. But as soon as you come in, you say, oh, that looks thin. Didn't you? I know. And when I first put it up, I thought, oh, that's thin. <laughs> Mum, do you not agree with me? They look a bit smaller. And that box looks smaller to me. I don't think the box looks smaller with the chocolate fingers, but your tree did. Anyway, dig in. It is time to play the longest game on earth, but this is actually like a new version of Monopoly. I don't really understand what it is because I've never seen this before. And can we just look at the money? Like, why is it not paper anymore? I think because... And why so and small? Yeah, it's tiny. I just, I don't like it. I mean, I might enjoy the game once we actually get into it, but I'm not enjoying the whole money situation. Money, like I think... Ones the fives, the tens, they took the ones and the fives out now. You can't even have a bank, can you really? What do you mean? Normally someone's in charge of the bank. Oh yeah, I oh, know, it's just I'll weird. The bank. Is the board different? They're I haven't... taking the jewelry. Yeah, oh, it's like, like a travel one, local fly. <gasps> the Great Barrier Reef. That, this is lovely. That's just where I was. This is lovely. That's so fun. Oh, yeah. this is cool actually. Yeah, the board's really cool, They're but not a fan of the money. They're taking the joy out of everything in life now. <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly money has been the same since... You were little. Yeah. Now, come on. <laughs> I know, I agree. We're tracking Santa on the NORAD no, Santa see, tracker. If this is real, you can see it's Rudolph's nose. I know, he's coming. Oh, he's heading for Monaco in one second. Last seen in Geneva, oh, Switzerland. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's going to France. That's because you need to get to bed. I think he'll be in the UK in probably about two hours. Quicker than that. It's time oh. to leave food out for Santa oh. and the reindeers. Oh, maybe you should use that one for the reindeers. Here you go, Santa. Leave no, you can't have the whole bag. I'll leave it just here so you can <laughs> We've got to eat some of them tomorrow. How many are you leaving? Oh, we've got to eat some of them. You can leave three. So pick three nice ones. Here you go, Santa. No, Atticus, you can't have all them. Here you go, this is Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Doro, Blitzen. Thank you, Santa. Let's do it. You want some mixed pie? Okay, fine. We'll leave them out for the reindeers. Here you go. Give him your bag. Give him the what? Give him the old box. If you want. We could do. He's going to be fat after this. We could do. Then he could take the box with him on his journey. <laughs> Mama, would he start to open it? This is my favourite time on Christmas Eve, leaving all the fish. Yeah. I know, it's very magical. Santa is treated tonight. We're leaving them all. So is the reindeers. <laughs> Gotta make sure the carrots are perfect for the reindeers. What we have to be good elves, Anna. Because Rudolph got this. Top. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that one so big? That is the biggest carrot I've ever seen. <laughs> oh god. 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 No, what? That's because we need you some for Christmas carrot. dinner. These are your carrots for the Christmas dinner. It's fine. Oh, thank you. Left with some lovely ones That's for fine. Christmas oh, dinner. Okay. Can't wait to honey roast those tomorrow. Santa's going to be really Imagine up. Rudolph all the with mince this. pies. I know. Imagine Rudolph with that. It is massive. I'll tell you all the carrots. 
That's Rudolph. Dashes, <laughs> Dancers, Francis, Vixens, Comets, Cupids, Donuts and Blitzens. Amazing. Good to go? Ready for bed? No. Yeah? Okay. That's everything. Yeah. Or I'll give him some chocolate. Treat him. That's because he doesn't need any more you stuff, but... <laughs> there it all is. I don't think he'll eat all this, one do you? For him. No. One for him, one for He's not going to have time to eat all this. Him. No, you can take them. One for him, one for Mrs. Claus. Oh, that's lovely. That's all he needs, Atticus. Right, he is. <gasps> Where is he, mummy? Fine. <gasps> Atticus, if you're awake when he gets here, you won't get any presents. Oh. <laughs> Daddy listened anyway. Wow, okay, Santa really has come this year. I've just finished sorting out the tree, so all of Atticus's presents are down here. Mum's are in the middle, and then all of mine are over there. I am so excited now, so I will see you guys in the morning when it is Christmas. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Good morning. That over there, what Atticus is about to open, is from Santa. Santa delivered that. Let's see what it is. Let's see if you got what you asked for. What did you ask Santa for? Yoda Christmas pop figure and a Donald Duck Christmas pop figure. Oh, okay. Some of the elves have done this up tight. Need some help. I think I will. Bring it over here. That's a lovely box that the elves have given you. It's very North Pole, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think Mummy agrees with me. I've already opened mine from Nanny's because it was too big to bring here. I got a piano. You did. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. God, the elves have done this up well. They said no peeking. <laughs> <laughs> I think Santa might have personally wrapped that. Oh, oh no, no. Oh. <gasps> you get what you wanted. You oh. got it. It's a Yoda Santa. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, and then there's one more. There you go. Yay. Did you get it? Yay! Oh, that's that's like the one you got in your calendar, like a bigger version. Yeah, a bigger version. Woo! Thanks, Santa. Thank you, Santa. I'll put the over here. I'll keep the bag though. Atticus is opening two presents from me, but you might not know what it is, so Mummy might have to help you. You are gonna look so cool, bubs. First of all, got you some cargoes. <laughs> yeah, bubs, you're gonna look I sick. I don't even know how to spell Essentials, fear of God. Why are you laughing? I told you, they're trendy. He is gonna look so cute. They're lovely. Fear of God Essentials. Do you know I wear that Essentials hoodie? The hoodie that says Essentials on it. Yeah, they're that bad band. <gasps> What's that? Yeah, bubs. It says something oh. before your birth year. Oh, it does. Oh, that's nice. I love oh, it. Oh, that is a lovely outfit. Like it. Thank oh, you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. Yay. Awesome. Atticus and I are actually going to be filming a What We Got For Christmas This Year. He is going to be joining me, so I'm not going to film any more of Atticus opening his presents. However, you are actually going to have to wait and see what I got Mum and Atticus for Christmas because I'm doing a full separate video on it. It was just the best reaction and the best surprise ever. Mum is over the moon, Atticus is over the moon, and I cannot wait for you guys to see so yeah that video will be coming very soon but now it's time to cook christmas dinner here is everything i have got the turkey crown which is going to take hi atticus which is going to take about three hours to cook so i'm going to put that in first and then i've got all of these trays here which i'm going to use to cook the turkey and the potatoes not really sure what i'm going to use them for but got them just in case and then i've got all of the veg here i'm doing cauliflower cheese as well which i need to make and i always need to make the stuff in but obviously don't need to do that for a while right here's the turkey i'm not gonna like absolutely stinks but i'm so annoyed at myself because I forgot to get rosemary and thyme so everything's gonna look a little bit bland if I had that it would look so much better so I know I meant to have it for anybody comments I just don't have it I forgot All of the veg is cut up and prepped. So I'm gonna make cauliflower cheese in this one. This one is gonna be mash. This is for the roast. Then got the broccoli and the Brussels. And then in here, I'm gonna honey roast the parsnips and the carrots. I've timed everything out on my phone. I just wanted to get everything cut up. So it's like ready to go. The dinner table is all set. I wanted to go for a gold theme because the most of my living room is white and gold. Just got the plates and the crackers from Amazon and then just the normal cutlery that I already have. And it looks really cute. I'm so happy with this. It's just simple, but really, really nice. Christmas dinner is well underway. I've just put the potatoes on the hob to start boiling. And then once it hits quarter past 12, hi little man. Once it hits quarter past 12, that is when like the real cooking is gonna begin because up until now, like I've just been prepping the veg and stuff, but quarter past 12, we're gonna be cooking, cooking aren't we? You're hungry? 
<laughs> Me too, Atticus has had some shreddies, but I haven't eaten. I just thought I'd save myself for the roast dinner and I am starving. Roast potatoes are in the oven. I've done them in goose fat and I cannot wait. And also the turkey's in the oven. Everything is coming out in roughly 45 minutes. Just about to start making my cauliflower cheese. It's making a really weird noise because there's a lot of water on the bottom of the pan. But I'm so excited for this. I've just boiled the cauliflower and just popped that to the side for a minute. Okay, carrots, parsnips, roast and cauliflower cheese is all in the oven. We're watching a bad mum's Christmas. It's on really loud, but I've got the broccoli and the Brussels on in there. And then I'm just doing the mash. So far, so good. We are cutting the turkey. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And the cauliflower cheese has come out and the mash as well. Everything else is still in the oven just keeping warm and I'm gonna serve it all up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like I'm so proud of this and here is our roast admittedly right now it looks a little bit dry I'm about to add the gravy however I'm so so proud of this for cooking on Christmas day for my family first roast from scratch mum's looks so good as well mum has got a massive plate for and then Atticus has got his version of a smaller roast which looks really good but Atticus doesn't like gravy so let me pour some gravy on mine and now it's got the gravy on this is my roast dinner complete I will let you guys know how it is Atticus are you enjoying it I love the turkey it's good, isn't it? I think I have like all lots of this. Really? I'm gonna have turkey later when we're watching a movie and playing a game. Got my hat on from my cracker. I am absolutely no, stuffed. Hat, we're all just sat here on. like this now. That was 10 out of 10, weren't it, Mum? I'm totally. like, you genuinely, so well. I think that was probably the best roast I've ever cooked from scratch. I'm so proud of myself. But right now, it's Anastasia King's norm. This is BBC Radio 1. everybody i am anastasia kings north and i'm taking over bbc radio one for the next Woo! half an hour for the tiktok takeover you might have seen me on your for you page before i do videos with my little brother and i eat a lot of fast food i wish there was more that i could say but that is literally all that i do um i'm going to be taking over the next half an hour like i said with all of the christmas tunes that you love first of all here's a song that i personally love and i know my mum loves <laughs> this is stevie wonder what christmas means to me <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mum. Dad, it's your favourite song. BBC Radio 1, and I'm taking over on Christmas Day for the TikTok takeover. So, my start to Christmas this year was very, very different to my usual starts to Christmas. I was actually in Australia. I went backpacking for six weeks, which was so much fun. However, leading up to Christmas in a 30 degree heat, doesn't quite hit the same as what it does when you're in minus temperatures in the UK. So normally on the 1st of December, I'm just, you know, casually working at home. This year was slightly different. I went hiking up a mountain, which is very unusual for me to do anyway, and then spent the day on the beach wearing a Santa hat. And my friend had a full like Santa, like beard on. I honestly have no idea how I have room left in my stomach to eat right now, but I am gonna do myself a little picky tea. I have got some dough balls, I've got these sweet chili butterfly prawns got some olives we've got some cold meats i'm not gonna have the quality treats with my dinner um, i've got some crackers and then we've got some silver skin onions and i've got some branston pickle we also have some cheese in the fridge as well this is my favorite type of like dinner i love this at christmas this is what we've got so far i know it looks questionable it's giving the scotch egg and coleslaw from 2018 when i was doing a vlog however it's gonna taste really good i've got some buttered crackers one with branston pickle on and i've got some olives some onions and then i'm just cooking the rest in the oven now. Mum's also on the picky tea tonight. What are you having, Mum? I've got um, some crackers, biscuits with Cathedral City crackled black pepper cheese, which looks really good. Look. Oh, it does. I'm going to have some pickles. <laughs> I think I might have some, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Dinner is served. This looks so good. May have done one too many dough balls, but I'm gonna make Atticus have some of them. Yeah, Are you doing Christmas selfie? Yes, yeah, come on, love. Oh, right, I'm coming. And here is the uh, Kings North family 2022 Christmas selfie. It's just been really embarrassing photos. <laughs> yeah, we can't show you any of the photos. But this one's me. cute. Okay, it is a lot later. We have finished watching Love Actually. I don't know what's happened to my hair. I look a bit rough over the last <laughs> hour. I'm not sure what's happened, but that was my first time watching Love Actually. I know that's criminal that I haven't seen Love Actually. Although when I was watching it, I really recognised some of the scenes, so I feel like I've had it on or I've been somewhere it's been on the 
background. Did a few years ago. I think I've been somewhere where it's been on in the background, and then I've like just remembered the scenes from it. I, I swear like... I recognised because obviously there's Mr Bean. Yeah, Mr Bean was in it, but that was the first and time then that there I've was like someone else who played Snape, and then there was another guy yeah, who I recognised all... from another film. Yeah, but you would because they're all like big Hollywood actors. But that was the first time I'd watched it all the way through, and that is easily one of my favourite films. Like it was amazing. It was done I in loved 2003. It so much. It like Atticus's... a more recent set. You've watched the ending, God knows how many times. You're just sitting there rewinding the ending. With the pretty girl. Anna, Anna yeah, Anna sorry, Anna I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. I am going to end. Oh, pretty girl. Stop. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope you have all had lovely Christmases, whether you celebrate or not. It has been lovely. We've had literally just the most chilled day Tomorrow ever, we, we go to a... Yeah, we're going to Panto tomorrow. We're going to Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. My friend it's, Molly is it, in it. It so is we're in going Manchester. To watch her. Yeah, it's in Manchester. And Katia from Strictly. Yeah, and then we're also going to go to the traffic centre tomorrow morning to have a look for some box of day I've, sales, even though I don't really need I've bought £70 in cash and then my card. You want to go to Lush, don't you? Oh, yeah, I got six Lush baths. He's obsessed with Lush. He wants That's to go all to Lush. I'm giving you is a sneak peek. So we're going to do that. Yeah, and tomorrow we're also going to film our what we got for Christmas. Atticus is going to be in I've it with me this home. year. And as so I'll do not say what it is what? but the video of me surprising you and mummy for christmas is also going to be up very soon you don't want to miss it but anyway you guys are going to love it the video will be up the I'm next video i'm I very upload. excited yeah it's going to be really really fun but i love you all so much all and i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye say bye mum bye, bye.